Okay guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to get the Resurrection Remix OS for the U Eureka. Yes, finally the Resurrection Remix Android N version has been released just yesterday and so I thought I would be making a video today. This ROM supports VOLTE, however the VOLTE is not flashed and we will need to manually flash it which I will be showing you in this video also. This ROM has been made by the developer Sanyam Jan, which is with me in the U forums and this runs as you have seen Android 7.1 which is the latest Android build. This ROM is however in the alpha or in the beta stage and there are a few bugs for example battery drain is extremely high. Also the battery does not charge up till 100% and it gets stuck at 99%. However this ROM does not contain any lags and it does not have the, the data toggle problem which was present in the previous Android N ROMs. You can also video record in this ROM and thus we can say that that bug had be, has been removed finally. So we will scroll down and first download from here. Just let me zoom in. Yes. And these are the download links. Here we can see that there are two download links for the ROM. That is the basket build and the Android file host we can select any one of them i'll be going to the android file host so upon opening this a new tab opens and we can see that there is a resurrection remix rom present over here you can see that this has been uploaded in the november 28 2016 that is it has been uploaded just yesterday at the time of the making of this video we will click on this and we can see that there has been a begin download option. Here we will click on the primary download. I have already downloaded this so I will click on cancel but you guys will need to download this. Next what we will go is we will head back and select the G apps. This will lead us to the open G apps page and here we will select the ARM64, the Android 7.1 and we will select any of these versions. I would highly recommend the Pico version and for the other softwares which you will be needing you can simply download it from the google play store we'll click on the download option over here and we will download this i already have this downloaded so i'll simply cancel it next what we will do is we will go down you do not need to worry the link to this page will be given in the description below so you can download whatever you need from there and we will simply download the latest modem for Eureka VOLTE. To keep to be in the safe side, we will also be downloading the bottom old modem for from CS 12.1 stock firmware just in case something happens. And then from here we will simply click on the download option. And we will click download anyway. I already have all of these files downloaded. So I will not be downloading this again. After downloading all of them. We will do is we will create a folder called Eureka. In the desktop and we will copy all of the files over here. I have already copied all of the files over here. And you can see. Next what we will do is we will extract this file, fo file called the latest non-hlos.zip. 
we will extract it over here and then what we will do is we will go to our phone So here I have the U Eureka with me. Wait, just let me focus it. Just one second. Let me focus it properly. Yes. You can see that this is running the resurrection remix and I will now be showing you how to flash this again so what we will do is we will simply go to the so first we will do is power of our device that is the first basic step which we will be doing after this is done we will hold the volume up and the volume down button together and we will hold the power button as soon as we feel a little vibration we will remove the, our half fingers from the power button but we will keep hold on the volume buttons this will let us go into the recovery mode once we are in the recovery mode what we will do is we will go to wipe go to advanced wipe and we will select dalvik system data and cache please keep in mind not to select accidentally the internal storage or the micro U micro sd card and then we will swipe to wipe this action will take quite a bit of time and so I'll be pausing this video when this is over I will again resume it now that we have finally wiped off all the data what we will be doing is we will be going to back reboot and we will power off the device we can see that no OS has been installed and that's what we exactly need so after doing this what we will do is that we will be going into the bootloader option or the fast boot to go into the bootloader option what we will do is that we will hold the power up button and we will simply insert our usb uh, our usb in it our usb wire in the cable not in the cable in the port so here we have the usb and so what we will do is just wait let me hold the camera properly so what we will do is we will hold the power button like this and then we will insert the usb cable over here A red light will first glow and then so the connection has not been done and so we will again try to redo this step so what it should show is that there should be a green there should be a red light and then it should show fast boot mode detected so just let me do it one more time here we can see that it again shows that the fast boot has been fast boot mode so this means we are in the fast boot version now what we will do is we will again go to our laptop or the desktop or whatever you have for windows users it's very easy what we need to do is we need to simply click on any blank area and hold the shift and press the right 
माउस एरो बटन माउस एरो बटन यस दर एम बी एंड हेयर देन विल बी गेटिंग अ फोल्डर कॉल ओपन कमांड प्रॉप्ट एंड दैट विल बी एनफ फॉर लीन ऑफ चूजर्स लाइक मी वॉट वी विल नीड टू डू इज विल नीड टू गो इन टू दिस डायरेक्ट्री फॉर दैट ओपन टर्मिनल राइट दिस ऑप्शन सी डी डेस्कटॉप or what or wherever you have stored it i have stored it in the desktop so i'll be going to the desktop then again cd eureka now we are in the eureka directory now this next command is only for the linux users and not for the windows users i'll be giving it super user permissions you do not need to do this for windows it's asking for the password and so we are we are in the root mode now what we will be doing is we will be simply giving here one command the command will be this one we copy and we will paste it over here and wait once this has been done this takes finished and it takes only about 3 to 4 seconds once this has been done what we will do is we will unplug our device just one second again okay. what we will do is that we will unplug our device and then we will again go into the recovery mode to copy the remaining of the files once in we are in the recovery mode what we will do is we will again plug the usb in the phone just wait one second using it with one hand creates a bit of trouble as you can see so it has been inserted and so now we will copy the rom and the other devices so we will be copy the resurrection remix and the g apps into our internal storage be copying it over here you can see i have already copied it previously so it's over here and here these are the two files now what we will do is we will again take our phone and we'll go back we'll click on wipe now we have already wiped we'll click on install and then we will be installing the two files one is the resurrection remix and we will add another file which is the open g apps then we will swipe to install installation will take quite a bit of time and so i'll again pause the video and i will again come back when the installation has been done now we can see that this has been installed we, you can ignore these two errors that is the unknown command log these errors will not create any problem and so we will be rebooting the device the first reboot takes quite a lot of time it took me around 10 to 15 minutes for when i had first installed this rom so you guys need to be patient and make sure your phone has enough charge as if it stops in between your phone might get in boot loop we can see that there is a new boot animation and it's different from the marshmallow one 
so I'll again pause this video and I'll come back when it has rebooted please be patient and wait for the rebooting to be over give it time and do not stop the process now that our device has finally booted let's go into the let's go so we are going to be selecting geosim ask every time for let's send it to geosim only i'm setting this up as a new device so this is my own wi-fi and just wait let me give the wi-fi password Now you can see that this is checking for updates. This will take a few minutes and there are no updates as of now in the making of the video. So I'll simply skip it for the time being. I'll give my name. Go and click on next. Go on next. And here I'll select the pixel launcher. Now that we are finally booted into this ROM, let me show you the VOLTE feature of this ROM go over here and let me call a number So we can see that Geo has been, VOLT he has been enabled in this phone. So simply close this and for the data, to activate the data, what we will do is go to settings. You can see that LTE is already enabled over here. So just let me select the APN. this point you see the geo internet has already been enabled over here if your data does not come then all you need to do is go over here and select the geo internet that's it for the video guys i hope you like this video and if it helped you please do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such mobile videos thank you